Hello, and welcome to Whispers in the Desert, where I'm being drowned out by this overly dramatic music. Not composed for this game, but never mind. Um, Whispers in the Desert, a thief to mission by Nicked. Uh, and it's the sequel of, or remake to Beneath the Sands. I mean, it's kind of the same basic plot again. Go in, steal treasures from a pyramid, and get out alive, right? But then it's an all new layer, all new puzzle, so it's it's essentially a sequel. Um, let's see, let's hope we got slightly less loud music at the objective screen. Good. Now I'll read the uh, briefing notes. I recently became acquainted with an antique stealer called Kermed through a fence of mine, and he told me an interesting tale about the Empire of the Southlands. Kermed's homeland is an arid desert country far to the south. In the past, their kings were worshipped as gods, and when they died, they were entombed within huge vaults, mummified to preserve their body for eternal life, and protected by all manner of traps. It's these traps, and the rumours of the undead, that are kept for most of these tombs untouched, meaning lots of treasure is still buried out there. Kermed has come into possession of a map, showing the way to one of these temples of the dead. His research indicates that it is the last resting place of Emperor Daihotep, a powerful mage king. If it is indeed his tomb, then an ancient tome known as the Book of the Dead can be found within. Kermed is offering me a fortune to retrieve it for him. Of course, the reward may be due to the risk, as he also wants me to try and find out what happened to a business associate of his, Golic, who went after the treasure and never returned. I booked passage on the next ship heading south. It's a risky job, but I've always wanted to visit other cultures. And robbed them. Bonus, Kermed has given you commissions for some ancient relics which may or may not be concealed within two. If you find any of them, he'll surely reward you handsomely. So, okay. Only difficulty, again, is loot goal, so let's stick with hard. Oh, easy, medium, hard. There's not normal hard expert. Well, I guess we'll do medium. Kermed, an antique stealer, friend of yours, has hired you to retrieve the ancient text known as the Book of the Dead from the tomb of Emperor Daihotep in the farthest southlands. Can't go any further south before you start going back north again. Hmm, maybe it's not that far south. The tomb is located deep within the trackless, des trackless desert and is several days' walk from the nearest settlement. You will need to locate a source of fresh water for the return journey. The map Kermed has provided you with is one half of a larger plan. Find the other half, which shows the lower part of the catacombs. Kermed's associate Golik and his party of treasure hunters were never heard from again after they ventured into the tomb of Dihotep. Find out what happened to them. This is an emperor's tomb. There must be some valuable treasure in here. Fill your bags with 1500 worth. Accomplishing your tasks won't do much good if you die down there. Get back to the surface once you've got what you came for. So, basically the exact same set of objectives as last time, but it's, it's weird deja vu. Deja vu Hotep. Uh, of of being the same emperor, the same Gullick, different tomb. Did the was the other one just a dream? All right. Uh, you bought a sword from a local merchant that supposedly destroys the undead. Unfortunately, you were con, then it broke in the middle of the desert. Uh, no turning back now. <laughs> it's not like standing here, a broken sword. Um. Cool, cool. Uh, one healing potion, no flesh bombs. All right, so we've definitely got undead to deal with again. Let's bring my. We've got more money this time, I think. As well, yeah, twelve hundred. Oh no, last time did I have thirteen hundred? I don't remember. Holy water. We are going to be dealing with undead, right? I got by without it before. I'm going to take both healing potions. I might need them. Take a mine. I'll. I'll leave the flash bombs, I think, but mostly dealing with undead, they're not going to be useful enough. Fire arrows are more valuable, but oh, I'm already running out of money. Hmm, 350 left. Well. Hmm. I guess seven more water arrows, but there's not much. Just they're probably not going to need that many. Uh, let's grab. You know what? what a noise maker! That might be more useful. And it's reusable too, of course. If I can pick it up again. And a couple of water arrows. Yeah. 
We didn't need any of that holy nonsense or any of that explody nonsense, right? We did just fine last time. Surely we'll do just fine again. Maybe I don't need two. Maybe I can do a goodbye with just two healing potions. But that's gonna be 250 more. I mean, I didn't actually need the mine last time either, but, uh... Hmm... Tempted to get a Moss Arrow just because they're occasionally useful, but... But put the Ward of Arrows back and get another mine. Now let's take the healing. Eh... Am I going to need it? I have no idea. I might need it. I might not. Fuck it. Let's get... Four of those, two of those. Oh, it's a uh, broader daylight today. Still broken down gates. Do we have our trusty crate nearby? Please tell me we have our trusty crate. That we can use for all kinds of... Ill-conceived attempts at uh, going places. Hello, what are you doing there? It's a good start. Do I have a broken sword? No, I just like I'm not even. I can't even pull out my sword. I mean, that makes sense. I thought I saw something there, but I don't know. It must have been just a glitch. All right. Here's the tomb. <laughs> Sand piled up. I hope this music doesn't get uh, lag or copy on YouTube because that would just be annoying. This is a lot brighter. Hello. First thing I noticed, it feels way a lot brighter than full darkness right now. Might actually turn the gamma down for a change, but hello. <laughs> I'm gonna get down without hurting myself too badly. Ah, uh, good question. I should have left my rope. This one should be, shouldn't be too bad for height. Yeah, that's good. Hmm. Someone was trying to make a pie with bones and pen that they didn't burn. What have we got here? Some hieroglyphs. Let me see if I can translate them. Make an offering to the sun god Ra and he will light your way. That's obviously the entrance, but what kind of offering? What kind of offering do you want? Not a flare. What about a broken sword? <laughs> I didn't realize I've got the broken sword in my inventory. No? Well. Um. I mean, can't put my loot in there. <laughs> there Maybe anything around one of these edges that is relevant. <laughs> Probably not, right? I can't tell if that's supposed to be actually be water or not. But there's nothing out here. I was seeing some particle effects before, that's what I was seeing. Um. Okay. 
Let's drop a mine in there, which seems like a very terrible thing to do. I have dealt with two fire arrows. I didn't, I didn't bring any. What if I... I didn't buy any. So what if I use one of those? I see. I see. I didn't realize I had fire arrows. So that's oil, obviously, not uh, water. I think I didn't try drinking it. Well. So much for fire arrows, then. Down we go. Not too far down, though. Is that wood or stone? I think that's wood. Looks knotty. And we have mummy friends again. I didn't check the map. Okay, entrance chamber. So if we go west, we get to die here. Burial chamber, if we go east, it says lower levels. Uh, Part lower levels and another thing. And I have the normal compass. Excellent. I can look at and see, oh well, that doorway is, you know, east and therefore to the left is north. Actually, is correct. It may seem like a small thing, but the having the whole compass is pretty important for me for wayfinding. It's, I'm not just looking at where it points. The whole thing is part of the orientation and the, and understanding of space. Well... How you? You lost your legs. This way has loot, so you know, let's go this way first. This place is much more brightly lit. Oh. Hmm. This floor doesn't look in the best of shape. Oh, there's a dog statue. There's somebody down there, though. I wonder, could I get... <laughs> Down there and back up safely? I mean, I could... It looks like it. Right, I should be able to climb back up from here. Is there anything here? No. Oh, there is a... Mo a, 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 a zombie. I like mummies or zombies, but not quite one or the other. I was coming back. This one's lost all his bandages. Seems to have lost his eyes too. <coughs> Been hired by a fellow named Gorik. Works for a museum and he's looking for relics at some old temple in the South Desert. Sounds like a fool's errand to me, but the fool pays good gold. Besides, there's always a trinket or two in places like that. Some treasure hunting might be just the change in fortune I need. This place isn't a temple, it's a burial ground. I'm starting to think some things are best left undisturbed. There are dead creatures guarding this treasure. And worse, I shouldn't doubt, in the depths of the place. I'll let the others go on. I'm heading for the entrance. I shouldn't have come here. There's an evil presence here. I can feel it in my marrow. We already lost Hammer. The fool tried to jump across the gap to get down to the lower levels. Felt short and landed on a bit of spikes. Not gonna happen to me. I'm getting out of here. Okay, 
So I could explore these passageways, or I just go back up. Um, we're kind of here, or are we, are we under here? That's just raising north and east, so it might be under here, yeah. This is that room. Alright, well, they're, they're leaving us just now. Let's go see about the Adept Burial Chamber first, because, um... It seems like that's what we're here for, right? We can get the job done, get in, get out. Hello. More collapsed. Nice shafts. Which way is this burial chamber? To the south. This would be his sarcophagus. Let's see what's in this. Hello, another friend. Okay, what have you got for us? Thing. He's not here. All right. Oh, it's the tail. Oh, it's the tail. I wonder where he is. I guess I can see what's down here as well, because I can definitely get back this way. Disturb you for long. Who are you? Golic? This makes you look older. A19. We have arrived at the site. A great stone pyramid marks the entrance to the tomb. We ventured into the structure and have found it to be a remarkably large place with many chambers. Death traps are all around us, and I regret that some of our numbers shall not be making the return trip. I have deciphered some of the less eroded hieroglyphs and determined that this is indeed the burial ground for the Emperor Daihotep. And therefore, the Book of the Dead must be here. Day 20. Damn that idiot Jonas. He decided to help himself to as much treasure as he could. Turns out some of it was rigged, and now the mummified remains of the Emperor's slaves have been resurrected through some arcane method. We are having to proceed very carefully, lest we are discovered by the creatures. We have come across a chamber not marked on my map, and I am very curious to say the least. It appears to be buried underneath what I had originally thought to be the Emperor's tomb. I gather it was not uncommon for these people to set up elaborate tombs as a facade and then hide the real wealth in a secret chamber. I must continue my translations of the hieroglyphs. My hypothesis was correct. It seems we are standing in the antechamber through a secret hall where the emperor and his royal guard were buried. The entrance is hidden by a stone door. According to the hieroglyphs, the only way to open it is to carry the Book of the Dead and bathe in the Shrine of Water. Then it says that the key is written on the map. Alas, I only have the map of the upper levels, and it seems there is some clue or code embedded within both halves. Tama had the other half. It is no doubt still on his person, impaled on those spikes. I will have to venture into the depths to try and retrieve it. So, right, retrieve the Book of the Dead, locate the source of fresh water, find the other half of the map. Talk of a secret chamber underneath the Emperor's burial chamber. Where the greatest treasure is kept, find a way in the steel, whatever is hidden within. Sorry, I keep yawning for some reason. Go back to the surface once you've got what you came for, yeah. So this is the antechamber.
Wait, that's the wrong way. This was the way out. Okay, so where do I want to go now? Um, it's a symbol of death. Oh, what's his name? Trying to get to the lower levels, right? And hit some spikes. It's either there or there. As soon as we're here, we should try the nearer one. The northern passage. Yep. Oh, there he is. On the far side. That's, uh... He's pretty good at jumping, I have to say. But that's gonna be a problem. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make that jump either. He did see me. I wasn't sure. Let's see if we can lose him in this passage. Probably. Hmm. Symbol of death, huh? Long have I been trapped down here alone among the dead. My brethren have all been taken by the walking abominations. I feel the dark presence more strongly now. There are powerful magics at work in this place. I know that it is a heathen emperor himself, his spirit resurrected in undeath. The people who lived here long ago would remove the organs of their kings. Somehow this unholy ritual would ensure their power in the afterlife. If I could somehow find the preserved heart of the Emperor and bring it to the symbol of death, I could perhaps incinerate it and destroy him forever. Nay, I fear I would need to as well take the source of his magic. The history books do tell of a magic staff carried into battle by the Emperor. Mayhaps I can take it from him and make him vulnerable. It pains me to consider invoking such heat and rituals, but I fear the Builder has forsaken me. Well, it's not a clue. I wonder. <laughs> so death. Look at me, I'm still alive. You didn't kill me. Yeah. Hey, come on. Okay, we're still searching. Alright, so. We're not gonna get any. Anything more out of this room, so... Let's try going the other direction. <sighs> Alright, which is... I guess we try east first, and then... And then south. Loot. It's different footsteps I'm hearing. Doesn't sound like the same mummies. Hearing footsteps, I can't see where they're coming from. Are they above? Maybe they are, but... Very nice. Uh, I guess we're down here now. I think we'll see where this footsteps, the holder of these footsteps is. Uh, 
house. Yes, there we are. Some kind of shadowy entity. I'm not actually coming this far. No, oh, definitely coming this far. They just, they walk. They move slowly but walk quickly, if that makes sense. I think let's try to avoid disturbing them. Wait, where did he go now? I thought he was coming back this way. Oh, I see he went there. It's really is amazing. Okay, now he's coming back here, surely. So now we can get past him. No, he's coming back up this corner again. Okay. Turning the lights on really what I needed to do. I mean, I was hoping for a way out, not for more illumination. From which with all the footsteps sounds, I can't really tell where he is. It's just really hard to pin down how close or far away he is. So I'm kind of just going to wait till he comes past and then go. That makes fascinating viewing, as you can see. Here he is. Uh huh. The scarab has come to my rescue. We got a metal gear. Big iron gear. I don't know what to use it for. I haven't seen anything that looks like it would be suited, but I guess I haven't been to this low level's entrance here yet. So let's head to the south out of here. Hello. Please don't notice me. Very good. Is there anything down this side? No. Oh. A 
stairs have seen better days, that's for sure. Somebody lost a leg there. Maybe that's one of the legs from the uh, other fellow that we saw without any legs. Another unfortunate, unlively fellow. The lever won't move. It appears the mechanism is incomplete. How about if we complete it? What does this lever do? Ah, uh -huh, we need both levers, of course. It's a lift. I guess we wrote it down. Oh, somebody saw us and is kind of angry. Take that. We've got some more hieroglyphs in the middle here. I guess we read them. The Sphinx guards the Book of the Dead. He shall let one pass who has the Ankh of the Sun and the Ankh of the Moon. Let's just find a nice dark corner to, to wait in. So we need Ankh of the Sun and Ankh of the Moon. To get to the Book of the Dead. Cheese. Bread and cheese. This place is a death trap. Tama fell on a spike for Taffa. We heard him still choking and trying to breathe as we left him. What could we do? He was a fool who tried to jump that gap. Turns out this gullick is little more than a jumped up librarian. He's quite happy to get all excited at the strange picture hanging on the wall. But it's us that are looking out for the traps. Not to mention the zombies or whatever they are. They seem to be wrapped in some sort of rotten bandages. But that doesn't make him any less dangerous. Uh, where are we going? Well, I don't know. I don't have a map. Although north was to the, we went came this way, so north ish, northwest ish, should get us towards Golix. Tama, Tama, Tama had the map. Hmm. Pretty uh, light, sen pretty sensitive to motion and things. That's all I needed. West. Oh shit! Oh, another broken sword. Oh, we are on the right track. I s on the right track. Okay, we're going to, have to lose that zombie fella. Somehow. Oh, he's got friends. Aha. Uh -huh. <coughs> Oops. There's the map. Tamara, I'm entrusting you to look after this map at the lower levels of the catacombs. I'm not sure I trust some of the fellows who've hired to help us in this expedition. Some of them are probably far more interested in gold and jewels than any find of historical value. Gullick. Okay, so... Fire Shrine, Water Shrine... Right, the Anks are in the Obelisk Chambers, so we need to head south then. It did seem to be a path up to the upper levels, didn't it? Did it not? I mean, 
think is up. But that's... Oh, it goes up to the far side, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I hurt myself more by, uh... From that fall. Hello. Ah, look at that. That will be useful. Oh, yeah, yeah. Should be faster. If you unwrap your legs, you might be able to run. Sorry. Okay. Uh, no, that's to the shrines. We need to go south. So we need to go back past this guy. You know what? This might be a good use of a water arrow. Very good use of a water arrow. He's the bread and cheese man, yes. Right, here's where we need the anks. Ankles. The ankylosauruses. That sphinx is missing a face. East or southwest? Let's go east. Hello. There's a lot of columns. Another dead friend. <laughs> Chucking away to himself there. I you what? Can I make this? <gasps> I can. Because it's, you know, kind of a long way down, just, just slightly. Okay, the egg of the moon. It wasn't so hard. I don't know why nobody's managed to find this stuff before, because, uh... <laughs> Doesn't really seem to be any real difficulty. Maybe the problem is they sent uh, somebody with less acrobatic skill than Garrett. What's happening in this room? Well, there's another mummy. Garrett, grab the. Thank you. There's even buried people in there, so maybe these were the uh, the ones that are now wandering around, and this is just their uh, retirement funds. Nope, 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 get out. Get out of there for a second. There. Is there anything else going on in this room? <sighs> really look like it. Oh, hello. What is that? Big broken ring? Big magnets? I'm having the foggiest idea. Looks important, but... Eh, maybe it's just decorative. You know what, we can avoid riling them up, right? I don't know which way they're going to turn, that's the problem. And they're probably not going to go straight, so we can probably just wait here. He says as it walks straight into me. A 
Okay, it didn't walk straight into me, but it nearly did. Is it got a face mask? Or just just missing just something weird in his face, I don't know. Oh, back to daylight. How yeah, nice. So I guess that's the, I guess there's the anchor the sun must be here. Can I reach that? Come on. I guess I can jump to it. Do I want to jump go up to the ladder there or this ladder? I don't know, honestly. Let's try this one. It's easier. Now that's a different... Well, it's a mummy that moves differently. He's like walking like an Egyptian. Seems to want to come this way. Or not. Don't know why I couldn't grab onto that, but okay. It's got a big butt. It's down here. Apart from the corpse of the fellow. Oh, he had some. He'd collected a bunch of gems. And he wrote his last thoughts. What else has he got? Bows and arrows. Rib arrows, okay. What is happening? All I did was take some treasure. The dead don't need it, and it'll make me rich. And as soon as I grabbed that shiny gold pot, the coffins burst open and these undead things were after us. That's not my fault. How could I have known? I just want to get out of here. Damn these creatures. I left the others. Let them rot here for all I care. This is enough treasure for one man. It's so heavy. If I can just make it back to the surface, I'll be home free. Yeah, yeah. I've got the cursed treasure now. I know, I know. Should wait till it goes round again. So I can kind of follow around the way up. It's a ladder up that far side. There's also this pillar in the middle, which I didn't really check out. <sighs> Seems pretty deaf, honestly. Okay. Hello. <laughs> wow, that's already Luco. Exactly. What? Exactly fifteen hundred. Oh, what am I doing here? Climbing enormous stone blocks. Don't even know where I'm trying to get to. I can't climb that. Because it needs to be crouched. I guess we're going up. Hello, that would be the anchor of the sun, I guess. That's a long way down again. Next up, Book of the Dead, I suppose. Can I get up there? Oh, probably not, right? Although, we've got more rope arrows, but without anything to stick them into. Ah, hello. Take that there. That's got some value. Yeah, I guess I'll just go back down there. Honestly, I shouldn't need to go all the way back around. I should be able to do this. Right? Ah! Right? 
I guess maybe uh, Tamaface, whatever his name is, was his example was not the best one to follow. The thing saw us. No problem. All right. Now we have the ink of the sun and the ink of the moon. One of each. Now oh, this guy's gonna be a nuisance, right? Well, maybe not. If he's going back, we can probably get random at the end at the exit here. Which way am I going anyway? Uh, north. What's up with your face? All right. Ooh, it's extra swimming. And then we go to the heart of the Sphinx. Um, that looks healthy. Is that just going to fall on me if I take treasure or what? No. Ah. I see what looks like a pressure plate. I don't know where I'm trying to get to. I guess I'm trying to get down alive. Safely, is that a reasonable drop there? That might be a reasonable drop there. What are these pipes? Do they have anything in them? The answer would be no. Okay, I could get down there or there or on this end. Is there a reason to prefer one or the other? Same to me. Well, this will be a slightly softer landing because it's not. Because of this, the sand makes it not so high. Now where? Ah! What? Um, what? Should I just lean into the spike and instantly die? I guess I might have. We don't try to go that way, we try and land on this pile of sand. Hello? Just scroll. Oh my god. Try that again. Nope. What's wrong with you, Garrett? Very weird. Yes, that's the book of the dead, and we're not going to be able to get in there without more stuff because that looks jumpable, and it certainly is not jumpable in the strangest way. Oh, hello. I wonder if you people are. Same kind of spirit guardian deal. Let's, let's see, shall we? Looks like it.
Okay. And that opened the gate for us. Brilliant. Dispatch some enemies and open the gate at the same time. What, what more can you ask for? Oh, more spikes. I guess that's something else you could ask for. More deadly spikes. Book of the dead, huh? Hmm. Hopefully it's not the book of the soon-to-be-dead. The imminently dead. Oh shit. Oh shit. Sand is rising incredibly fast. Don't even know how that works mechanically, but that must be what the pipes are for. I don't even I don't even know the way out. Yeah, it's dropping sand. Where was the way out? Okay, it doesn't go all the way up to the roof. Alright, well, uh... We got what we came for, right? What else do we need? I can't read it. It's not... Hmm... Well, I think it's time for some bread and cheese. And then, uh... We'll see what happens next in the next episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.